If you want to become a better player, these are five soccer training drills I want you to add to your current routine. If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. I can work on my mobility side to side. Really pushing it out, feeling in the groins, feeling the hips, loosening up. So if you're an athlete right now, you consider yourself an athlete, you're gonna go and play 90 minutes, you're gonna work as hard as you can, you're gonna be sprinting all over the pitch, but you don't even have the mobility to come here or you cannot even touch your toes, you're asking to get injured. So to make yourself a better athlete, focus on mobility. This is one exercise I love and one I would recommend that you add into your routine. The next thing that I would suggest you add is some form of agility training. So you don't even need a ladder. You can do things like this, working on a line. Okay, but actually forcing your feet to go faster than they're used to. So I like using the ladder. I'll just do different uh, exercises. I'd usually go through it really quick. Maybe it only take me like three minutes, but doing this daily makes me a lot sharper. So singles, doubles, focus on the arm movement just as much as the feet. Sideways to uh, slalom. Okay, and when you get tired, it's so easy just to give up and go slower. That's when you need to push the most. These are gonna be struggle in the beginning. They're gonna make your feet feel really heavy. You're gonna feel out of shape. This is good uh, fitness, good stamina as well. Another one I might do, forward back. Okay, but adding some form of agility training to your soccer training, it's gonna make you a better athlete. Next thing that I want you to add to your training is actually sprinting. So in between, focus on recovery. If you're ever tired in a game and you just sit like this, mouth open, big heavy panting, just thinking about how tired you are, you're not gonna re recover as quickly as if you think about controlling your breath, calming the breath, nasal breathing through the nose. Focus on re recovering as quickly as possible, calming the breath, not a panicked rush breath. So if you wanna be faster, we actually have to practice the skill of running, the skill of sprinting. So I might just do like six sprints, five, six sprints, but I'm not just sprinting to get myself tired. I'm sprinting thinking about how can I get faster? So I'm thinking about the technique of sprinting. So I might just do like to the camera, maybe that's 20 yards, focus on accelerations, but here, just a short distance like that. Walk back, recover. Focus on the breathing. You're doing this for speed, not for stamina. So let yourself recover in between. You can do different types of starts. So maybe starting from quick feet and go. You can go from your chest, from a jump. So jumping, landing, push off from the ground, but focus on the technique of sprinting. So acceleration, want to stay lower. First couple steps, I'm staying low. Pushing, staying low. Over time, let's say after those 30 yards, then I'm finally coming up. Most kids start down here. First step, boom, they're already up straight. Okay, so try to keep that forward, forward lean. Those if you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the Online Soccer Academy. Through those first three steps. So add mobility, add agility, add speed. The stuff you don't necessarily want to do. And I want you to change your mentality towards that. Because you like juggling this ball. You like kicking it. It's fun to you. So you keep doing it, you keep getting better at it. I have to like 
sprinting. And that may seem like something you don't want to do, but if you can adopt that mentality, I like doing physical work. I like working hard because it's going to make me perform better on the pitch. Then suddenly the agility stuff becomes easier. The sprinting, the speed stuff, it becomes easier. So change your mentality towards it and you're going to be a better player because of it. Once you've done the hard stuff, the stuff you don't necessarily want to do, do that stuff at the beginning of your session. When you're sharp, when your energy's high, do that stuff. Don't wait till the end when you're tired because then you're gonna leave early, you're gonna cheat yourself. Do that hard stuff, get it out of the way, become a better athlete, then get on the ball. Do the stuff that you wanna do, the stuff that you love to do. So one thing I want you to add is maybe you're working a little bit of ball control, but I always talk about it. Add that directional ball control, that match realistic ball control. Moving with the ball, running with the ball. After that, you're gonna add shooting. And you're not gonna do standstill dead balls the whole time. You're gonna do realistic shooting. Yes, you have to practice free kicks, of course. You have to have that ability, but I want you practicing shooting off the turn shooting after a little bit of skill. Shooting with both feet. And practicing different types of shooting. Are you only capable of striking the ball with your laces on your strong foot? Or can you curl the ball inside and outside of the foot? Do you have the ability to strike shots with both feet, to hit the net consistently. What about half volleys? Full volleys. But from now on, every time you go to the field by yourself, I want you to practice shooting. Whew. Different techniques, regardless of your position. 100 shots a day, minimum. The more reps you get, I guarantee you, you're gonna feel like a different player if you practice shooting every single day. Work on the ball striking. You're gonna become deadly attacker, deadly in front of goal. Even if you're a center back, having that ability, knowing that anytime you're around the net, you can get a shot off and you can score a goal for your team is gonna give you a new sense of confidence. So add these soccer training drills to your current training routine. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the online Soccer Academy.